This is Passengers United. So Jack does all the videos, guys. We gotta give Jack props. Thank you, Jack, for doing the videos all day. So let's do this. This is it, guys, massive concourse. So earlier, we went up the other way, but now we're going this way. L I R R Madison Concourse. So now we're going down. So this is from the old Grand Central into the new Grand Central. And here it is, guys. Grand Central Madison. Thank you for L I R R. And then you see it says Long Island Railroad, and you see how they have the old, the new, how well they did the tiles, the other thing. It's pretty nice. Let me just open the door. Okay. And we are on the new Grand Central Station now. This is it, guys. And this is where we were earlier. Oh, so remember that way, Jack? We, we had oh, yeah. to get through that way. So now I know where we are. Wow. So actually, this is a shortcut. If you want to go from the dining concourse and go that way, you can do it that way too. Wow. And that's it, right here. The Madison Concourse. And I have to say, guys, this is really nice. Um, we were on the first train this morning, but we exited to a different way. And these are going to be retail stores over here soon. Um, and we also have a fire marshal here. Those are the fire marshals. Yeah. Make sure everything's up cold. Check it in with custom services. LIR attached to one. <laughs> this is supposed to be another entrance. So this entrance is going to be at the other side. Remember what that wooden thing was yesterday? This is going to be that entrance. Welcome to Grand Central Madison. Today is Wednesday, January 25th. As you navigate the terminal, please listen to station announcements and watch signs for important information. And a lot of people here. Yeah. So this entrance will soon be open as well. At all times. And this is where we were earlier. They got the wicket advertising. This is so much better than Penn Station, guys. Clean, it's nice. And we already checked out the restroom, you guys. The restrooms are really nice in here. Jack, did you have to use the restroom? I'm all right, thank you. I'm going to use the restroom over here. And there's all the train schedules, the following trains. So guys, the quickest entrance to Metro North trains is the 47th Street Approach. Because when you take that escalator, it's going to take you right to the tracks. And we're going to show you that in a few minutes. Um, I do want to thank Jack, because he's been doing all the camera work. Jack's the person behind the scenes. Thank you, Jack. My pleasure, really. Yeah. And so this is one of the welders when you go down. So why don't we just go up? Uh, do you want to see the ticket booth is? Oh, well, the ticket booth is, well, we could do that too. Yeah, because that's the yeah. main one is a change. I think it's fine too. Yeah, I know. Is it? Well, it's not Oh, there it is, right there. So most of the press have left now. This morning was very busy over here. Um, and there are some, this is all going to be retail over here. So you'll be able to buy things, shop. Um, and I, I'm really excited to see the ticket booth slide. I haven't seen that yet. We also sell chocolates over here, the chocolate vendor. Um, so this is the other railway, the 46th Street. It takes you down to the Long Island Railroad. 
Um, we have one there. Restaurant is located on Concourse level only. And here it is, guys. Oh, so there's more restaurants over here as well. Wow. Okay, very nice. And here is the ticket area. This is the area I've been wanting to see. And that is the new District 11 for MP police, right over there. And I have to say, guys, very nice. Look at this. Wow. Look at this, all the kitchen people come. Really nice. So you'll be able to buy all your tickets here. And all the employees working really hard. Thank you guys for all your help. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're with Passengers United. We do all the advocacy. You see us at the meetings and stuff. I see, Thank you. I see you guys in, on all the board meetings. You guys are doing a great job. Thank you. And, and unfortunately, you so we also cover all the crime scenes, all the depressing Even stuff. The but today is a very positive day. We support the railroad. Um, and yeah, we love what we're seeing, you know. Absolutely. It was definitely a game changer for so many people. And I, as I've said, not just going... Uh, to and from Long Island to the east side, but also people connecting in between railroads, people, uh, no, you can. exactly, that's right, save money, drive, be comfortable, and I think what, you know what's nice, I think once the retail stores open up, it'll get more livelier, it'll get more busier, so I, one thing I told the media, and I told the MK, for people in Queens and parts of Nassau, they've got to have a discounted ticket to get people to use this. All right. If you look above us, guys, you see how they build the tunnels. They actually show you a demo demonstration of that. You have that there. So the subway is on top, which is the 63rd Street F. And then on the bottom is the Long Island Railroad and the East River Tunnel. Um, you see they have all the different things to show you. I still am a little confused about the layout here, guys. It's going to take a while for us to figure all this out. But you have all this here. So basically, they have one long concourse that's under Grand Central, and then you have to take the escalators. Now, for all of you who have, uh, for anyone who uses a wheelchair or you use a walker for our ADA community, right over here, elevators to all LIR tracks. So those are the elevators. Um, and they also have the LIR cares over there, those are the waiting rooms. So you can wait over there, um, and they make space over there, which is really nice. And they have representatives who take you down, so you have that. So do you want to do the plunge and try to do the escalator? Let's do the escalator. Right? Yeah, why not? Because we did it going up, guys. We didn't do it going down. And like I said, we're going to be here. so much to cover, guys. I really, we can't cover it all in one day. It's going to take us a few weeks to get the feel of the station. But I will say one thing. I'm really proud of the railroad. The Long Island Railroad has really come a long way. And I just want to say to anyone riding the escalators, please hold on to the railings, guys. And pay attention when you're going down. Especially me, right? All right, so... Right. And thank you, Jack, as always, he's doing videos. And there goes the key thing. Guys, this is really fast. I don't think this is what they're saying. This is fast, right, Jack? Well, it's Fairly. not too fast. Elevator might be better. If it shows up. Yeah, right. And this is what you're also going to have to experience. People trying to rush down the trains. Holding things, cups in their hands. I bet this part of the uh, station is going to be more crowded than up there. Yeah, because this is the quicker way to get in the station, that's why. But 
de-escalator so far is smooth. Uh, I feel very safe on this, guys. I won't say. Back to one, three or four. Wow, here we go. Oh, one of the panels are loose. Uh, Where? Right there. Alright, so now, here we go, guys. Oh, try to see how this is set up. So they have tracks. So the way they have this set up, tracks 201 to 202 is up there. And then they have another set of tracks down there. Because remember, they have eight tracks. Right? They have four platforms, if I'm correct. So let's do track three or one. Do you want to go up or down first? Uh, well, we were down before. So they have the 258 Jamaica. Let's go down here. Let's look. Oh, they have an elevator here. And by the way, guys, here are the elevator bags. So they do have big elevators. Yeah, that's the one we could have taken. Yeah. So they do have elevators here, guys. Okay, so let's go down. So this is track 302 and 301. And it says no train currently boarding on this track. But let's go down to the platform. Now guys, please watch your step over here. Because if it is wet, it could be a little slippery. And just go down slow. And here we are, guys. Wow. So we didn't get to see all. We didn't get to admire this. Wow, look at this. Wow, I want to get that factory smell. Hmm, all that new smell. Wow, look at this. Wow. Ah, oh, so refreshing. It is refreshing. This is really nice, guys. I have to give. I have to give them props. Look how nice and clean everything is and shiny. Wow, guys, this is so much better than the average subway station. The only thing I wish we would have had was something that says Grand Sample here. I think right? they're I think they're working on that. They are? I like the way they designed this. I mean people know it's Grand Central. Right. I think they are working on putting wow, signs saying Grand beautiful. Central Madison. And they even have a mezzanine, wow. Yeah, that's where we were and that's where you can kinda Some walk. Uh, yeah. here, you can see. Wow. Well, keep in mind the first train uh, boarded it here. Yeah. Oh, it did, right? Yeah, right on this track, 302. Yeah, you're right. I didn't realize that. So that's where we were. Yeah. So this is very nice, very clean. Um, I have to give the railroad props. They've really outdone themselves. And remember, big mega projects like this take years and years to build. Um, sure did. You know, and this is going to be, I think this station is going to encourage our elected officials to put more money into mass transit, you know. And I think this railroad, Grand Central Manson, could be used as a subway incentive if the price was three seventy five for a one way ticket to, you know, Rosedale or Queens Village or like Bayside or Little Neck. You know, you need to offer incentives. And there should be a three seventy five ticket from Fordham all the way to Jamaica. And I think there should be a discount for Nassau County residents because many of them take nice bus. So you need incentives. And this platform can hold how many trains? That I'm not exactly wow, sure. Wow, look at this. This is beautiful. The only concern, guys, is, you know, if there's nobody around and then the homeless start coming in here and messing it up, the EDPs and the drug users, that's going to be an issue, guys. But so far, I'm really impressed by this. Um, Let's just savor the moment. I like the way it's bright. It's nice and clean. Do you want me to do the flow test or no? Maybe on a different platform. Okay. All right, let's go up the escalator. See what I'm talking about? I can't hear the announcements because the escalator is too loud. Yes, I do. Do you see what I'm saying? 
the escalator announcements are so much clearer than the ones that are really important for passengers. You're right. That needs to be addressed. That's something that I brought up to the media. Sure, why not? Well, the train's gonna leave. We could probably. So I could barely understand what the guy was saying. Mm -hmm. That's a problem. As I've been saying, it needs to be automated. Mm. Add some kind of like announcement chime, wow. and just maybe mute the escalators. No one's even well, bothering to me. listen to that. No, you're right, Jack. Like it makes absolutely no sense to me. Oh, the rally the rally. Yeah. Yep. That's not the same M9 that we were on. I don't know. Is it? I don't think it is. Is it coming this way or this way? It's coming this way, yeah. Passengers United. Wow, good stuff. Good stuff. Nice. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice yeah, we're Passengers United. I'm sure you've heard of us, right? No, I haven't. Yeah, we yeah, do all the press conferences and advocates for transportation. So. All right. All right, we have that. Okay. You want to check out one of the upper level tracks? See yeah, what, let's do uh, that. That's what we're about to do. That's like... So... Technically, we can go there too, but yeah, but I'd rather use the yeah. There's an escalator there too. You want to try uh, the elevators and see if they work? Because that's what we're some of them are not working. Like, there's uh -oh. only one of them on this platform is working. Uh oh. But they do run pretty smoothly, though, otherwise. By the way, what's the? How many people? We didn't get a chance to see how many people got on the train. Uh, well, this is what I captured from when I was uh, getting on the first one. It, it did get pretty busy. Yeah. I was in car six out of ten. Oh, wow. I mean, there were people. Yeah, that was the same train that we were on. Well, I think they've done an excellent job, the railroad. I really yeah. have to commend them. It's clean. Look how nice this is. Yeah. This well, looks better than the Second Avenue subway. Yeah. 
cleaner, bright. Right? I feel like it's like kind of like I'm experiencing a lot of this like fun stuff. Of, well, like, I like the way the cement opening. is done. Oh yeah. Clean it is. This won't get dirty fast. Yeah. Really? It feels like it's because like just yeah. two and a half years. Well, let's just savor the moment. You know. When you're leaving, this happens. <laughs> and I like the fact that the, there's no call. I mean, there are these columns, but these are air vents. Oh, yeah. So, absolutely. It's funny. Just the lighting in here is amazing. But when the train leaves, we all like make noise. <laughs> oh, here yeah. All right, so you had to, you wanted to be interviewed, right? Yeah. Yes. Right, so do you, you want to do that here on the Upstairs, mezzanine? Maybe? Uh, Let's do the mezzanine. mezzanine. Yeah. All right, here we go. This is the uh, concourse again. Normally, capital construction they stay on property until everything starts down for a few weeks. So, even though the railroad started service, they still haven't like handed it to, to, to officially because they're still doing things. Oh yeah! Wow. Oh yeah, I remember that. The newspaper said what the F symbol and it got me laughing so hard. Yeah. Good for them. Because there's no elevator, yeah. Yeah. The elevator's back that way. Like we're at the very end of the platform right now. We have water fountains, yeah, wow. Yeah, like we have water fountains. That's a miracle. Well, I would just... Does it actually work? Yeah. The only wow. thing I wish the Long Island Railroad had those water bottles. I don't like the... You know with the ones where you yeah. fill the bottle with water? Mm -hmm. That's what they should have had. That's the one yeah. boo-boo that they have to improve on. Like, who uses those? I mean... Right, with COVID and everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, it's great to have water fountains back in London again. Well, yeah, yeah. I know. I can't stop. I, I need to stop spending money on all these water bottles. Yeah. Uh, you know I what they should have done? Mr. X came today. I don't know. I haven't seen him. Who? Mr. X. Mr. X, who's that? Oh, yeah. The guy with the bags. Yeah, the guy that always... You've been here today, right? I know, right? Well, in some ways, I know today it was a school Please. day, so there were some things oh, that, that were getting here yeah. much later than you don't know you would expect them to be. He's probably... Uh, I'm going to be there at the uh, board meeting on uh, Monday. They have a service yeah. elevator here, which is nice. Wow. Yeah. Well, that too. That was I don't think it's working right now. That was very good that they yeah. built that here. Wow. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It's the second time I've seen a service elevator in LAR property. I like this mezzanine. It's very nice. Oh, yeah. Great. Right. Right. That's what I like about the station. Yeah, right. 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 It's such a that has an old thing that's beautiful oh, and now definitely. a new thing that's beautiful, beautiful. all in one. Absolutely. So One you thing I think that yeah. Old bedrock, and they had to build a structure in there. Well, back then, yeah. Oh yeah. And they were literally going under my neighborhood actually. When they were oh, digging wow. the part where it goes under under the river, that's on the 63rd Street. Yeah. That's, that's the arrival. But I don't oh, know. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. They have two concourses. One that goes down oh, here yeah. and one upstairs in the 40s, uh, that thing. This is nice. Yeah. Oh, so you yeah. can even use this to go to the other way as well. Yeah, so yeah, the other yeah, platform is all the 200 tracks. Like How many trains does this hold? 12? Uh, cars. I think there's eight tracks. It's got to hold at least there's 12 cars. Yeah. Upstairs, and there's another set of four yeah. um, past that wall. Wow. Upper levels, the 200s and the lower levels. It's got to. Our tax money at work. I'll say that much. Yeah, that right. 
it's not like out of this world coming in here for the first time. Like, oh, definitely. Like, like, are we like, like that? No, but they've done a good job. I mean, everyone always criticizes the MT. Yeah. They really got something right, so. Exactly. Yeah, this is gorgeous. It is. You want me to do my photo test? Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah. I'm still waiting to do that. Oh, yeah. That was it for that moment, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, they're gonna have picking machines over here. Yeah, they're gonna have a whole bunch of them scattered around. Okay. Okay. Oh, so you can go from tracks two or one, two or three, I see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you would have to come back here to go to the other side. Yeah. So. But see this, I'm gonna tell Christopher, they gotta get this fixed. Because yeah. this is an ADA issue. What if somebody's reading to use the elevator? I think that's exactly. brand, brand new, so that's not even why they're breaking down yeah. so quickly. Yeah. But it all got heavy usage today. That too. That's why I'm glad in one way the railroad ran the shuttle so they could test everything out. Absolutely. Yeah. Have full service, you know? But also, did they say when exactly they're going to be releasing the schedules? Four weeks. I think they're going to change the schedules when the clock change in March. March 13, March 4. That's normally when the railroad has their new schedules out. For Maybe. The, uh, spring fix. They're going to do their spring fix schedules. Quite so, possibly. Yeah. Okay, let's do some more. Come on, Jack. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm here. Okay. <laughs> I'm the one that's out of shape. I'm you. <laughs> Guys, I'm out of shape. I'm admitting it on camera. I am out of shape, everyone. Yes, that's a Passengers United exclusive. Oh, look what they got here. I think Jack walks better than I do. <laughs> you would think. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they got a new M9 here. Yeah, I saw a whole bunch of them going uh, past Jamaica, but this is 204 okay. and 203. Are you sure this wasn't the track we came in on, Jack? I'm positive we okay. came in on 302. All right, well. They're just using whichever ones at will. All right, so let's do the interview right here, I guess. All right. I think that could work. This is a nice backdrop. Yeah. I love what they did with the uh, design of the ceiling. Yeah, it's really nice. How, uh, like even if you go on the other side. Oh, 9046, I've been in this car before. Oh, nice. I think I played that the wrong one. Oh, yeah. I didn't win anything. Ah. I love that factory air and smell. I know, right? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. So yeah. there's a tunnel there? I think layovers. that's for, that's the layover track. How far does it go down? Maybe a few blocks. Wow, they have a layover track here. Wow, they really, really... I know, right? All right, let's do this. All right, here we go. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for being with us. And can you... Jamaica is now going to track 304. So that's what this is. So... <laughs> <laughs> so can you please shout out your channel? Attention, everyone. Welcome uh, to... Hi everybody, I am DJ Blue Shadow Transit on YouTube and Instagram. Also a transit enthusiast. I have a feeling these people are given a script. Yeah. Because <laughs> I heard the people of Jamaica saying the exact same thing. Okay. Alright, here we go. Alright. Okay, let's try this again. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, please shout out your channel and your name. Hello, I'm, I'm Nick. I'm behind BJ Blue Shadow Transit on Instagram and YouTube. I'm a transit enthusiast. Hello, I am BG Blue Shadow Transit on YouTube and Instagram. Those of you who do not know me, I am Nick Jablonski. And I'm a transit enthusiast from New York and here for Eastside Access. So how did you like your first day today? My first day here was just a huge blast. I could not believe it. This place is just amazing. I know it took a long time to get it together, but I'm glad it's finally here. 
So as a Long Island Railroad, I'm assuming you live in Long Island? I live on the east side, actually, oh, okay. of Manhattan. So this is, I mean, and I go to Long Island all the time, so this is actually a really big game changer because I don't have to go all the way to Penn Station so much. Well, wow, that's interesting that you live in Manhattan. So today, another organization came out saying that this $11 billion spent on this was a waste of money and that it's for uh, affluential people, quote-unquote, in Long Island. What do you have to say about that? Of what? Something with the budgets about the the extra spent here? Yeah. Uh, there's some. There's another organization that was upset about this project. What do you have to say? Do you think this is a great investment for the money? Well, of course, in terms of money, this isn't. This is a great investment because now we have better ways for people to get around. People can go to the east side more directly from Long Island and vice versa. And so it's quite a lot to say of amazement. And sometimes it might seem a little challenging deciding on where all that negativity might be hiding. And this also helps people on the E and F lines in Queens because this is going to take a lot of the overcrowding mm -hmm. off the Queens Boulevard line. Yes. Because this is like a subway. You could take this to Southeast Queens. Yeah. Northeast Queens. And even people from Westchester and Connecticut, they can go to Long Island with just one transfer in here. They don't have to take another subway train to change. And they can have a unified ticket, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can, I mean, you can just get off here. You can either get your ticket or you have it on your phone and just go right downstairs. You don't even have to go outside. So a lot of elected officials today are watching this. What do you have to say to the elected officials who fund these things? Well, to the elected officials and everybody who basically got all this to, to finally be existent, well, thank you very much to all of you all. This is amazing. Many of them have died. This project was 40 or 50 years in the making. You realize well, that. Well, of course, even to those who are not around anymore still, this this project is definitely was definitely the best idea ever and it, it obviously will not be uh, something to it, obviously it will not be a what am, I, what am I saying here and obviously this project is going to be very this 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 results is going to be very very helpful for so many people in these upcoming years so there's a video called I don't know if you've seen the video it's from about 15 years ago it's called Old to the LIRR where they talk about drunken fights, they are drunk, uh, dirty trains. Uh, yeah. The old railroad was really a mess. And look mm -hmm. how far the Long Island Railroad has come. Well, what this happened was, is huge. But the they've difference. also done the third track. They've done a lot of investment. Mm -hmm. So now everything's paying off for the railroad. Yeah, and it's it's getting a lot more modern. As, it's, as the city's getting more modern, now the railroad's getting modern as well. And that's great. And you know, Philip Eng did all the work. Oh, over wow. the last four years. That's Philip cool. Eng, and he wasn't mentioned today which is something that I want people to know. Ah. <laughs> yep. But, uh, yep, thank you so much. Uh, sure is there anything you wanted to add? Or? Uh, well, I guess that's pretty much everything. Uh, this place is absolutely um, something worth visiting. You should definitely check this out because you'll definitely love it. <laughs> there you go. I love that spirit. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Charlton from Passengers United. Again, I want to thank Jack uh, for all his help with the audio or taking video today. Jack's been amazing. Um, guys, this project is a great project for the New York metropolitan region. And this is gonna change the commutes for thousands and thousands, millions of people actually, I should say. Because if you're coming from Connecticut and you wanna to go to Long Island, this is the way to do it now. You have a unified ticket and you know, you could go from New Haven or even New London all the way to Montauk now, you know, taking this. So this is a game changer guys. and. There's been some talk today by Runners Alliance, which doesn't do anything. They basically said that this was a waste of money, the $11 billion, and that this is gonna benefit uh, rich Long Islanders and stuff like that. So guys, let me st set the record straight. There are people who live on the main line in Ronkonkoma and all parts of Long Island, in Nassau County, who are very poor and they have to take a two and a half hour commute with nice bus and the E and F subway. By offering deep discounts, you can, this can become the subway for Long Island. This is gonna benefit Nassau, Suffolk. This is a game changer for Queens because for $5, which guys, don't get me, the $5 fare is too much for people who earn minimum wage. We need to keep that in mind because if you need a bus or subway transfer, you're now paying $7.75, right? So what you need to be able to understand is this needs to be 375 and at least off peaks or uh, nights and weekends and then maybe $5 for peak. Okay, I get that. But it should have a bus and subway transfer for those people. Um, in terms of 
the infrastructure. This is amazing. I know, and guys, don't get me wrong. I'm not letting the MT off the hook. I know the MT, this was one of the nightmare projects for the MT. And this was one of the biggest projects they ever undertook. But in a kind of ironic twist, what I ended up happening, what ended up happening was all this infrastructure, like the third track, the Rakankama second track, all the stations were being built on the main line. And now you have this big project. This is a game changer. Basically, the whole Long Island Railroad has been reinvented. You have new M9 cars. So all the complaints from 20, 30 years ago with people with gray hair, like me, who ride the system, we've been complaining, oh, the railroad was horrible. I, used to, I remember being in the M3 cars, where in the summertime, it was 100 degrees, there was no air conditioning. And if you sat next to the toilet, the bathroom, you would, the lavatory, you would smell the urine. Look at how far we've come. So, you know, the MTA and the, I know the state had issues. There was a lot of budget cuts. A lot of things in 2008 was sacrificed. So this stuff could be built. There were service cuts, high fare increases. But I think, you know, because the elected officials did not want to fund, fully fund the MTA, what ended up happening was the MT had to borrow money. There was a lot of stuff happening. But at the end of the day, the project got done. I think now what we need to do is make this cheap and let's get everyone on board. Even, you know, because the express buses are what, 675 or something? $5 for the railroad is a lot. I think 375 works off peak. Peak, $5 with a bus transfer and a subway transfer. That's what makes it work because you're getting comfort, you're getting speed, 35 to 40 minutes to get here versus two hours and 45 minutes. And for all the people in Long Island who use Suffolk County Transit or nice bus to get to the F train or the E train in Jamaica, you know it's a nightmare commute. I feel for you guys because I do the commute too. And you know, but if you live in Nassau or Queens, your property values are gonna go up because of this. So, you know, there's some pros and cons to this project. Um, but I will say one thing, the way the, I like the way the floors are, the construction here has been done very well. So it may have taken the railroad 15 or 20 years. So far, they've gotten it right. Are there some things they can improve on? Yes. They need to have yellow signage with, you know, better signage. Because I feel like some of the signage, you know, it's a little hard to see for the older people. I think they can improve on that. And they should have digital displays. You know, like this could have been a little bit better. Um, and I'm sure Jack, Jack is the expert on that. So, you know, guys, I, and one thing I will say, they should have built this to handle bi-level cars. But according to what the railroad told me, when this was first, um, when the idea was first proposed, at the time, there were no bi-level cars. But I also think Amtrak trains could run in here. You know, some Amtrak trains to Long Island or something. So there's a lot that could be done, but I think this is a wake up call for our elected officials that we need more infrastructure and we need to utilize it because think about this, this could be our ENF subway, this railroad right here. Imagine if this was 375 or imagine if a, a weekly pass for Queens residents was $45, a seven day unlimited rail pass and a subway and bus pass. That is a game changer. That's how you get people excited about coming back to work and reinventing our economy here in New York. So my name is Charlton D'Souza. I'm the president of Passengers United. We attend all the meetings. And guys, we need you to tell your elected officials that you want more projects like this and, you know, to fund them. And we also need the governor to fully fund the MTA and also to get corporate sponsorships. You know, companies, you could have, I'm surprised there's no advertising. In here. I noticed that. You would think they'd have digital advertising, right? Something to look at. They didn't do that here, guys. So that's one flaw I will say. But otherwise, guys, I want to thank Jack uh, for doing all the videos today, our vice president of uh, community outreach. And um, he's just been a wonderful person. Jack, thank you for everything today. Appreciate it, man. And Jack, did you want to say something? Well, I had a uh, question for you. Oh. Uh, Given how much the uh, MTA has sacrificed to uh, make this project a reality, and that included like service cuts and uh, 
fair hikes. Do you think that uh, now that this is open, the MTA has an, a chance of breaking even? Yes, I think the way that you win over the critics is you have a 375 fare for Queens. And, they sh and National County residents should also get a discount because the MTA cut Long Island bus. And when they did that, they really hurt Nassau County. So I think you need to have a program like the Atlantic ticket or the Freedom ticket. Let Queens and Nassau County residents benefit, you know, because they have long commutes. Many people who work minimum wage are paying $33 for a seven day unlimited Metropod to get on nice bus. You see how bad nice bus is. Then you have to ride the E and F trains and you get delayed in that. Or if you're coming from the North Shore, you take the N20, 20G to Flushing and that's a mess so we in order for the mt to win the poor communities over and the critics over you need a 375 uh one-way ticket off peak and it should include a bus transfer and for peak make it five dollars like a city ticket but include a bus or subway transfer with the rail ticket and also i think the weekly and a monthly would be a game changer you could have a monthly railroad ticket for like 135 dollars with everything included that would be a game changer that's what we should be doing that's how we win people over so governor kathy hogel the elected officials if you're listening that's the type of leadership we need that is how you win people over all right thank you all right, all right perfect thanks for watching to stay up to date with passengers united please subscribe and follow us on social media learn more about us at passengersunited.org